Hey guys, this is Morgberger here with my retro review of the Motorola Renegade V950 for Sprint. This phone was released back in 2008 on the Sprint network as a semi-rugged phone for those who wanted a durable yet stylish phone. It's good that there's a large extended battery powering this phone because the two high resolution displays on both sides of the phone are running almost constantly. The large battery in this phone also takes a very long time to charge with the included charger. This phone is made out of all rubber and plastic, so it feels somewhat decent in the hands if you're holding the rubber areas. The holster that came with this phone rotates 180 degrees, so here's a demonstration of that. Here's a demonstration of the SD card adapter that came with this phone, as well as connecting it to the computer. When you're outside, the phone's display remains bright, which is good if you use your phone a lot outside. This phone has a flashlight, which is helpful when you're taking pictures and for other uses. This phone has a keypad light sensor, so you're not excessively using your keypad when you don't need it and draining your battery at the same time. The speaker on this phone sounds great, so let's take a listen to that, hearing the startup sound of this phone. The earpiece on this phone sounds great, so let's take a listen to it. So you heard it right there, even though the phone is not activated, the earpiece still sounds great. This phone has a camera shortcut on the keypad, so just holding this button down here takes us to the camera. Here's some photos and videos that I took outside. This is the video camera test of the Motorola Renegade V950. Keep in mind there is some wind while I'm recording this. We are limited to 20 seconds per video recording, so the next part you will see will be split. This camera records at a whopping 320 by 240. You're allowed to pause during recording to split your video. And also it records in landscape for you, so you do not have to adjust your camera rotation. This phone has a voice service, so let's test it out. Say a command. Go to voicemail. And just like that, voicemail is being dialed. When the phone is closed, you have a, a limited functionality with the phone. So one of the things you can do is volume control. You can also use push to talk, even though I cannot demonstrate that as it's been disabled. And you also have music control. Using this button, you can also access your history. Making phone calls with a flip phone is simple enough. Here, pressing 1 will take us to the voicemail. This phone uses T9 texting like any other flip phone, so it's famously slow in texting speeds. So here's a little demonstration of that. So that took almost two minutes to type out. If you hold one of the keypad buttons for a long time, the audio will be longer and there will be a different tone. So here's a short button press. And here's a long press. 
Fun fact, the second sound you heard is actually the power off sound for a lot of Motorola devices from this time as well as the Motorola Razr that came before it. This phone has Bluetooth, so let's try that out. Turning on Bluetooth. Set Discoverable will allow us to connect to our devices more easily. In addition to Bluetooth, this phone also has an alarm clock a calculator, a calendar, a file manager, a notepad, a world clock, voice memos, voice recognition, a tip calculator, a stopwatch, a currency converter, and a unit converter. Being a sprint speed phone, we are given many included features like music, navigation, and TV. In addition to purchasing music from the Sprint Music Store, you can copy music over from your computer or another device to play on your phone. This phone has a web browser even though it doesn't work because I have not activated this phone, which you will be able to tell here in a moment. Yeah, we get an error. So that's my retro review of the Motorola Renegade V950. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, peace.